It's that time of year again when the days start getting shorter, the football season has started and inevitably EA Sports releases a new FIFA. But what's new in FIFA 22? And more importantly, what's actually going to make a difference? Here is everything we think is worth taking notice of. Hypermotion is a new technology implemented into the PS5 and Series X S versions of FIFA 22, which results in organic player movement thanks to a machine learning algorithm that learns from real-life matches. Players take the ball in their stride with ease, with less hitching and stuttering, and there's a much more fluid feel to the gameplay. FIFA 22's new intelligence system makes goalkeepers much more reliable too, plus new personality types replicate the different styles more accurately, from sweepers to pure shot stoppers. At the other end of the pitch, explosive sprint allows attackers to lure a defender close before accelerating away with a sharp burst of pace. It allows for more dynamic one-on-one -on -one encounters. I just hope it isn't as overpowered as FIFA 21's bridge skill ability. New attacking tactics mean players can finally apply different strategies to each half of the pitch, so you can press high but also keep defenders deep to prevent a counter-attack. Finally, improved ball physics ensures it feels more realistic than ever, with passes zipping across a wet surface or held up on the grass when backspin is applied to a lofted through ball. Create your own football club and enter them in any league you wish. Customization options will be familiar to anyone who's played pro clubs. You can design your own kit, crest, stadium, everything down to the pattern of the grass on the pitch. During a player career, you're given three objectives to fulfill when entering the pitch, which vary depending on your position, your formation, the opposition you're playing, and so on. Complete every one to get maximum XP. Elsewhere, there's room for a lot more experimentation when building your player now. The revamped skill tree enables you to specialize more heavily and allocate points to specific attributes. There's also a new perk system, which can make tangible improvements to your player and team. Perks unlock as you level up, three can be equipped each match and grant additional stat boosts. For example, the Distance Shooter perk grants the Finesse Shot Trait and a 5-star Weak Foot boost, whereas Defensive Cover buffs Defensive Awareness, Interceptions and Tackling for all of your teammates. Other nice touches include Dynamic Tifos, Alex Scott joining as FIFA's first female commentator, and the possibility of being subbed on during solo player career, delivering the experience of a young player trying to break into the team to impress the manager. It's not always easy to get all your mates together at the same time. If you can't get your whole squad together but still want to play with friends, you can do so without it affecting your club's record by entering drop-in matches together now. It's also clearer than ever to see just how much XP you get from each match, with post-game screens breaking down your performance and highlighting how close you are to reaching the next level and those all-important skill points. Perks are available in pro clubs too. Other improvements include a much deeper level of customization when tailoring your pro club in FIFA for 22, allowing you to change everything from seat colors to goal songs and more. And finally, female plays have been added and you can play alongside anyone else. Foot Heroes is a new type of card for cult players who never quite became icons but still left a big imprint on the game. So the likes of Robbie Keane, David Ginola, Clint Dempsey, and Mario Gomez. They provide a green chemistry link for any player in the same league as on their card. Two modes have been revamped. Division Rivals now takes place over the course of a whole season, so win matches to progress through new stages, ranks, and divisions, with rewards given out at the end of each week and the end of the season, depending on your performance. In Foot Champions, a new point-based system determines rewards. Qualify for Weekend League by earning enough points by competing in playoff games during the week. Each week, the finals will now consist of 20 matches to play over the weekend, down from 30. There's also a new Elite Division, which sits above Division 1 and is reserved for the most skilled players. Top performers in this division will get the chance to compete in the FIFA Global Series. A new skill meter emphasizes the difference between Volta and other modes and encourages playing with more flair. Different moves are rewarded with different points and beating players with skill moves, nutmegging opponents and bouncing passes off the wall means your next goal could be worth up to four points. There are more skill moves too, including several standing skill moves such as a ball stand and a fake shoe tie feint. Three signature abilities buff a player for a limited time. Power Strike, 
pure pace and aggressive tackle are triggered using the right shoulder button and operate on a cooldown, and can be a real game changer if used correctly. Elsewhere, base player stats are better. Each starts with an overall rating of 82 and 5 star weak foot and skill moves, so a great to play with straight away. And because the focus is very much on building your own player this year, the option to recruit professional players, celebrities and icons has been removed. There's no story mode either. However, the six-week-long Volta seasons are new and a bunch of new minigames feature, including dodgeball, foot tennis and the curiously named Disco Lava. And that's everything. All there is to do now is wait until FIFA 22 releases and we see how much of a difference all these changes add up to make.